What's going on? Brandon Epstein here from Mental Fitness Training. Now, I'm gonna get into the topic of today's video, which is how Kevin Hart treats life like a game and how he's able to unlock different levels by approaching life this way. But before I do, if you are new to this channel, here on this channel, I help people control how they feel, how they behave, and what they create in their life. So if you're interested in that, please smash, click, touch that subscribe button, and I will be releasing new videos every week to help you do that. Now, let's get on to this video. So if you listen to the Joe Rogan podcast, then maybe you heard him. He actually talked about this in depth the other day. It's a game. This, this thing is serious, but it's got a game-like quality to it. This thing called life. Mm. It's got a game-like quality to it. And if you don't fucking see that, you better open your eyes. You better open your fucking eyes because in this life, the moves that we're making allow you to do more, to, to get more, to see more, travel more, explore, experience. And I thought it was really interesting. And I thought, hey, a lot of people probably heard Kevin Hart say that he treats life like a game. And they probably wondered, what does he mean by that? And how do you actually go about approaching life like a game to get what you want out of life? And so I thought I'll make this video for anyone who thought the same thing I did, who wanted more of an explainer. Because I'm pretty sure I got, the, I got the gist of where Kevin Hart was going with this. And essentially, life really is a game. There are many universal laws that are constantly at play. And once you understand these universal laws, you get better and better at the game. Now, I would actually say that there is winning and losing in life. And I would say that you are winning in life when you are enjoying your process. So whatever you choose to do with your life, if your daily routine, the most, like how you spend your time, if you enjoy that, you're winning. And that could look like anything. It's up to you. Everyone likes different things. Now, I consider losing in life to be not enjoying the process, to be kind of listless and without direction on where you're going and kind of just going through the motions because, well, you know you need to make money and you have responsibilities, so you just keep trudging forward despite not really enjoying the process and, and not feeling good a lot of the time. So how do we go from losing in life to winning in life? Well, it all comes down to the levels. And so you have to understand that there are levels to life. And the first level is all about getting clarity in regards to what you want and what you want to be doing with your life. How do you want to spend your time? And I would say most people don't even get past that first level because they never decide with clarity what it is they consider to be winning, right? Which is essentially how do they spend their time to make them enjoy the process and to feel good. So if you never take that first step, you're never going to move past level one. And then you're already, the game's stacked against you before you even get started. So the first thing you can do to win in life is to get clarity about where you want to go. Now, I know firsthand that you don't just get there overnight and all of a sudden get to love the process. That is where level two comes in, which is once you have that clarity about what you want, you have to ask yourself, okay, what actions or habits do I need to put in place to get to where I want, to make my process something really joyful? And so there's going to be some grinding when you get started. And I'll speak from experience. I've grown a few businesses now and I'll take one for example. I have this YouTube channel. It's called Jump Rope Dudes. Some of you may have know about it. Um, we're up to like, I don't know, at the time making this video, close to 800,000 subscribers on this channel. Now in the beginning of this channel, when I got clarity about what I wanted to do with it, I still had to grind. And so I didn't love my process in the beginning because I was editing videos learning how to build a website, uh, doing all the customer community management. And I knew I didn't want to do that stuff long term. That wasn't me expressing myself in my, in my unique gift. And I wasn't joyful with it all the time, but I knew where I was going. And so now present day, I've been able to stay consistent long enough to push through those periods of time of uncomfortability to now today, I have a team that does everything that I don't like to do. What I find joyful is to create content, do high level business strategy, and just think about how we could grow the community overall. So that's where I spend my time. And so I feel like I'm winning because I'm enjoying my process. Now, there is that period of time where you have to grind it out. And that's gonna come with anything that you do. 
And so what you need to understand is that you have to move past that level two of just grinding and doing what you have to do to get to that thing you decide you wanted in level one to get to that level three. And I would say level three in life is when you start to hit your stride where you're actually doing what you love. Your process is something that you enjoy doing and you just wanna be present in it because it's, it's joyful. I'll say joyful a couple more times. <laughs> so once you get to this third level, well, the sky becomes a limit because then when you're in your process and you're enjoying what you're doing and you're in that present moment flow state constantly, the possibilities start to just become limitless because when you're in that state of being and that creativity, you get the opportunity to take advantage of your own unique gifts and you get to start building. And you may not even know, you may exceed what you decided you wanted in level one and level four may be something that you never even could have imagined before. Something so fun and joyful that was just opened up through the possibilities of doing what you love. And Joe Rogan in that same podcast talked about the same thing. He said, you know, I got to where I wanted to do. I was making this podcast and I just grinded it out. And I just was present with what was happening. And what do you know? Level four for him, for example, could be he just got a, who knows exactly how much money, but 100 to 500 million dollars from Spotify. So, you know, he can just do whatever he wants, but he kind of already is. And that's the point, right? Because when you win in life, it's you, it's you enjoying your process. And so you can make a lot of money. You can have a lot of fame. You can have all these things that doesn't really matter though. At the end of the day, your winning is you enjoying your process. When you wake up, you're excited about what you do throughout the day. And when you go to sleep, you're grateful that you got to spend your day doing those things. So if you're someone who's, you know, taking the blue pill most of your life and you just think that life is about responsibilities and just doing what you have to do to get by, I promise you that is not the case. We are all here to play the game of life, to have a joyful experience, to discover what our unique gifts are and bring them out into the world. And that's really what this channel is all about here. What I help people do through the content I make on here, through the mental fitness guide that I created, which is free, by the way, if you want that, it's linked in the description below, uh, to the app that I created, to the one-on-one -on -one work I do with people. I'm helping you guys go from level zero to getting clarity about what you wanna create and then giving you the mental fitness tools to stick along, stick around long enough, have the perseverance to create what you want and then open up a life of unlimited possibilities. So if anyone saw that podcast and thought I was interesting, you're like, what does Kevin Hart mean by life is a game? This is what he meant, guys. It means that if you get clarity about what you wanna to create to start and you're able to persevere long enough to start to create that, then the sky is the limit after that. Possibilities open up and you just get more and more and more levels. And that is my, uh, that's my intention for you. I hope that's your life. That's really what I'm going for. So thank you for tuning into this video. If it was interesting, helpful, please let me know in the comments, smash that like button, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want any other resources, we got a lot of stuff linked down in the description below. So thanks for tuning in. Catch you in the next video.